again. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow, maybe in 10 years. So we're going to do a little lesson. So everyone, raise your elbows. Try not to bump into your neighbor. Give yourself a little space. Raise your elbows and then make them relax like you're a flying bird, okay? When you're a harpist, you should feel very, very relaxed. Not stiff, but relaxed. Now, put your hands together like handshakes and keep your thumb up so you should have a nice little space between the thumb and the index finger, okay? So keep the elbows up, just keep feeling the harpist keeps the elbows up, the thumbs up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to split our hands. You can do that. Can you see me over here? Okay. All right, the elbows are still up. Now you're going to open and close your hands into a fist, but make sure that your fingers are all the way reaching towards the bottom of your palm and the thumb closes over the bone of your index finger. So here we go, open with the thumbs up, elbows up, close, smile, They're very good, everybody looks terrific. Now when you play a harp with pedals, we're gonna open and close while I'm speaking. Open and close, just a little harp exercise. Um, you're called a harpist, I-S-T, when you play a pedal harp. That's the kind in the orchestra. When you play the Irish type of harp, you are a harper. And since uh, we have the Irish Day on Saturday, March 17th, I'll be playing that harp so I can play both. All right, so we open and close. Now, keep your hands open and get your pointer finger, which thumb is one. Let's wiggle the finger. One, two, then the tall man is three, ring finger four, and index is five. The harpist does not play with the fifth finger because it's too short. But the four and five are sort of buddies, so they sort of hang out together. So now, sort of loosen up that index finger, and with the right hand, draw a line up to your face. Okay, wow, let's do that again. You guys are so natural, I think everybody needs a harp in here. Oh my goodness, all right, let's do the left hand, up to your face. Oh, very nice. Now, with the thumbs, you're at your face, the thumbs are gonna push away, and use your wrist to push away and draw a line. Push away, and what you would do is you would really, really sort of play the strings pretty, you know, prominently. All right, so now I'm going to play the glissando, it's called, G-L-I-S-S-A-N-D-O. Can we all say that word? Glissando. And we're going to shorten it to gliss. Glistening gliss. Make your facial expressions like it's so much fun. Okay, here we go. Oh, great. So here we are, elbows are up. Are we ready, everyone? You're going to just do your air harp. Here we go. Up to your face. Let's just do one line with one hand and one line with the other hand. Okay, so that's how that is. Now with your thumb, let's push down. Push away from the harp. Good. Okay, now let's make little smile faces all the way up and let's see your smile faces. 